Welcome, guys. Welcome to your practice and welcome to your space and your own magical place. Yes, and we take this time, this great gift of time, right? A great gift of time. And, you know, not for people who come to class. I get emails from people who don't come to class saying, you know, do you think you could do like a 15 minute, 20 minute? And all I want to say is, aren't you worth an hour? Aren't you worth an hour? You can't find an hour just to gift to yourself. And like, so, you know, honoring that you're taking this time for your own health and wellness to tap in, to feel, to notice all of these things, you know, this aging body, this great gift of an aging body, not everybody gets it. And to just feel into those aches and pains and things that are coming up and things that we have carried for a long time, all here, you know, this is deep body work. So as I was reflecting on practice today and all of that, and I was just, you know, thinking, you know, even if we go slow, you know, here we are, we're moving into this dark time of year. This is always the time to turn inwards. And a little bit of a slow flow can sometimes be the medicine we need to just, right, to just drop in and to feel. So that's my intention for practice today and intention and practice come together right here. So let's start this, bring your hands together. Hope you're sitting comfortably and we'll just start to spin this prayer wheel. Start with taking the fingers out, bringing them down and then back up. And as you do this motion, maybe start to flow with your breath. You can make this bigger. It doesn't need to stay in front of the heart, but it can. And drop your jaw. And maybe even just feeling, you know, this turning of the wheel, turning of the seasons, turning of the sun, turning of the earth, your own life. And you know, those of you who have are in the grandchild place, then you know you get this great gift again of watching and observing you know, this little person grow and develop and and you also, you know, that's how we feel we age is by looking at the ages of our children or grandchildren. Otherwise, we feel pretty much the same, <laughs> I think, other than this great gift of aging. So take one more here, up and down, and you'll bring the fingers up. And we're just going to open the palms out as if you're just receiving. Just bow your chin. Drop your shoulders, lift your heart. Just feeling this, you know, there's something in your hands. Maybe it's everything you need, the unseen. And, and then bringing these palms together at your heart space and they can just rest against each other here. Or if you feel you wanna hold your heart and do that. Take one more breath as you are. And as you begin your next inhale, anchor the sit bones, lengthen tall, lift your heart. And exhale, let the shoulders drop, even let the tail kind of drop. And we'll call ourselves home and chant home together three times. Inhale. Oh. I know Grant, I can't see Grant, but I know he's doing this. So we'll start in, in Shavasana. So you can place something underneath your head. 
Um, let's bring a block and a strap. I don't know if we're going to use them, but just have it beside you. And then we'll come to lie down. And just if you if you're okay with your back, just stretch your legs out, take your arms out, and start here. And then with the arms out wherever they're going to go, <laughs> just going to lightly touch the index finger and the thumb pad together. I'm going to ignore these dogs fighting over my head for some attention. And... Okay, so once you're here, friends, we'll just. Start to drop in as we do. Just take a few breaths. Feel the floor. And then just start at your heart space. Bring your awareness to the back of your heart. And you might even feel the breath moving around the heart space, the upper chest. And then expand your awareness from the back of the heart to the right and the left shoulder blade. And just notice for yourself, are they resting equally on the floor? Okay. And very subtle. You might notice one feel side feels just a little heavier. And then all I'm going to have you do, if you notice one side heavier, just turn your head a little bit to the lighter side and you, know, you might keep turning just nice and slow until you feel oh i feel like my shoulder blades are evenly resting let the jaw go and let's just take a few deep breaths here okay, i'm going to take these arms you can release the mudra Bring your arms up and alongside your ears, if that's okay for your shoulders. And then I'm just going to, like, you know how we stretch the legs one at a time? I'm going to reach one arm just a little bit off the floor, extend it away, and then put it down so it's a little bit longer than the other one. Then lift your other arm up, pull it away as if it wants to get longer, and maybe do that a few times, like walk your arms away. You feel your shoulder blades, I mean, your shoulders coming up, maybe even touching your ears. And then we're going to do the same with the legs. So bring your heels to the floor so the toes are pointing up. And we'll just lift one leg a little bit off the floor, stretch it away, and then do the same with the other one. We might even do that a few times. Okay, so we're just getting longer. And then once you feel you're there, let your feet flop again. And we'll take a few breaths. You're not reaching your arms, just letting this shape do the work. And notice everything you feel. Maybe there's something feeling a little creaky or a little more open. Good. Okay, let's take a nice big breath. And now we're going to extend the arms, extend the legs away from each other. Stay here. Keep the heels on the floor, toes pointing up. Maybe the fingers are spread. Anchor your legs to the floor. Anchor your mid belly to the floor. So you take the ribs in. Press the head into the floor. Smile. Take a nice big breath in. And as you breathe out, left knee into your chest, arms up and over, interlace the fingers. Okay, so we're here for five breaths. You want to move this knee in and out or side to side or just hold it. You decide. Just keep your face soft. Explore. your breath. Soften the muscles of your face, my friends. Your forehead, your ears, your jaw. It's more than five breaths, but that's all good. We're going to stay here. <coughs> keep breathing. Okay, you're going to keep this knee in. Now soften any effort you're making. So the right leg can soften, the hips can soften. Even the left foot can soften. Okay. Stay here as you inhale, draw this knee in nice and tight. As you exhale, re extend the left leg, take the arms back up and over your head. 
Maybe extend the arms, walk the legs away, get long, and then rest. Just nice, beautiful breathing into the whole body. Irrigating. Okay, next inhale, lengthen through the arms, through the legs. And on the exhalation, right knee into your chest, change the interlace of the fingers. And this is your time where you feel what you need here. You need to rock it, you need to rest it. Okay, whatever's happening, keep the face soft, jaw soft. Yes. And then stay here. You can let everything kind of soften if you like. You know, I say that, but if you're like, no, I need to keep moving, then that's your practice. Okay. And notice any tension in the jaw, the third eye, the eyes, the shoulders, the back of your heart. Stay here as you inhale. Exhale, release. Take the arms over the head again. I'm just going to add a little bit here. And just stay in this Supta Hasta Tadasana, lying on your back with your arms over your head pose. Okay. So backs of the hands are on the floor. I'm going to take the left thumb underneath the right and bring the pads of the thumbs together. So I'll just hold my hands up so like you're making like a butterfly if you're doing shadow puppets. Press the pads of the thumbs together, open the hands, reach your arms longer if you can, like take them up, stretch them away, stretch the legs away, and then really press the thumbs together. So if, it, if, they, if they came apart, your arms would just fly out. Then you flex your feet, heels are on the floor, draw the bottom ribs down. One more breath with all this effort. And then let the thumb go, let the arms rest, let the legs flop. Okay, stay as you are, separate the legs a little bit wider apart, and we're just gonna rock the toes in and out, and just moving the entire leg here. Okay, do that one more time, toes in and out, nothing happening above the waist, everything's resting. Bring the big toes in towards each other. So much, like if some of you can bring your, I can't, but if you can press your big toes to the floor, that's how much you want to go. And then press out through the heels. Keep bringing the toes in. One more breath. And then let your legs flop, let the arms rest. Let's take the arms down by the sides or even out like Shavasana. And just breathe. Okay. Stay here and now take your attention to the back of your heart space. Soften the whole heart into its chamber, into the back of the shoulders. Okay, take a nice big breath in, sigh it out. Let's take these arms over the head again. Bring your legs, you know, back into hip distance. Reach both arms and so lift them up a little bit. Stretch them away from you. And then let the backs of the hands come to rest. Okay, now you're going to take the right thumb underneath the left. Bring the pads of the thumbs together. Little butterfly. Open the fingers. Press the thumbs against each other. Find the length through your legs. Anchor the heels. Toes press up. Take the bottom ribs in. Maybe take your chin in. Keep pressing those thumbs so much. Take the bottom ribs in. I just say that again because I feel mine pop up. Take one more breath. And then rest. You keep your arms over your head if you want to bring them down by your sides. Just breathe. Okay, nice big breath in all the way. Fill yourself up and then hold that breath. We're going to release it in three parts. So you're going to exhale, pause. Exhale, pause. And exhale. Okay, okay normal breath. 
I'm gonna bring both knees into the chest. So however you wanna do that, one at a time or together, grab your knees. And this time we're gonna rock them in and out. And as you do that, let your hands travel down your shins. So you're just pressing on different parts of the shins as the knees come in. You might feel that in different parts of your back. If you can get all the way down to your ankles, groovy, tops of the ankles. And then we'll work our way back. And once we get to the knees, friends, we're gonna circle. So you hold on to the tops of your kneecaps and just let the legs circle, the knees circle in one direction. Okay, so this is you know something we're kind of familiar with. You're really rolling on the sacrum. Let's slow it down. Move with your breath and close your eyes. They reverse and circle the opposite direction. Be slow, relaxed breathing. And we're gonna keep circling, but I'm gonna release the arms down and we'll change direction. So now you might make these circles bigger. Okay, the challenge can just be in turning the palms up so that you know, we don't have as much um, support through the hands. So not good for you, just keep the palms down and reverse. And they'll circle in the opposite direction a few times. Okay, just move the knees side to side, like a little pendulum coming to center. And we're gonna hug the knees in. And now I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna say five breaths, but who knows? <laughs> so you can hug these knees in. If you need your strap, throw your strap over top of the knees. You can wrap your arms around and hold on to opposite elbows or opposite wrists. Do that, a little flexion in the feet, and then just melt into this shape as best as you can. And notice any tension in the face, or in your jaw, in your breath. Soften around this compression. Take one more breath. Okay, from here, I'm just gonna open the arms out to the side and drop the knees over to the right side. We just come into basic twist here. Okay, maybe your knees can move up higher to your right arm, but if that's not for you, then if the knees are down, that's fine. Slowly turn your head to the left. Feel your breath. Okay, we're just gonna circle the left arm, create that little horizon sun over your head. So if you have some stuff there, you'll move it. You'll start to take the left arm, sweep it alongside, try and keep the fingertips on the floor. And then once the hands come together, we're just gonna reopen back out to your twist. Okay, your knees might be coming apart here. As you open and that's okay, just notice for yourself what's happening. All right, I'm gonna do two more. As I bring that left arm, left hand to the right hand, I'm now gonna reach it away and then trace up. So it's almost like I'm making that arm longer. So the circle it around, the left palm comes onto the right and then extend the left arm and then sweep it up and above. That's it, two more, but here's one more. And then it's going to stretch that arm. And this time, as we come onto your back with both arms open, okay, now bend the right elbow, anchor the right upper arm to the floor, lift the right side of your chest, and turn a little bit more to the left. Okay, we're going to breathe here just as you are. Drop in so that your eyes may be closed, you're softening. We're taking in as nice full breaths as you can here. Irrigating. Good. Okay. We'll change this a little bit. So I'm going to take the right hand now to rest on top of this left knee or left thigh or anywhere it touches. And you're going to sneak the right leg all the way down so it's long on your mat. So you're on your side. Okay, your knee might be lifting a lot. 
That's fine, you know, do what you have to do here. Maybe we move a little bit. So I keep the foot on the floor and I'm just rocking my knee up and down like they get moved. Maybe that's kind of the medicine you need to be here. So we'll move a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna drop into this twist. You could also put the left foot on top of the right thigh. Maybe that's better. Or you could also stretch this left leg straight out. And then the right arm can stay where it is or it can come out wherever you need to be here. I'm going to add a little integrity into the feet. That's going to bring this left hip down a little bit. And softening everywhere you can. Okay, melt through the left side of your body, friend. Okay, we're going to swing this left leg. So maybe you turn your palms down and bring your head to center or even turn your head to the right and then start to take this left leg and you're just gonna swing it back. Maybe the foot comes down and it opens, you know, the knee might open and it might come back. Yeah, okay, so I'm just taking it across in the side, but I see like we're all doing something a little different and that's okay, you know, if you've got that leg lifted and you're taking it side to side here, that's all good too. Just find some rocking, some way that, feels good for you. So maybe the knee stays bent, maybe the leg is straight. Okay, whatever it is, it's good. Okay, good. Let's do one more. Now we've done all this moving, we're gonna come back into this twist. This Alexander twist is the name of this pose. So come back in, just wherever you need to be, leg bent, leg stretch straight. Press out through your feet if you can. Soften. Beautiful breathing. And then we'll just bring it on back onto your back. Maybe this time your knees stay bent. Just readjust your hips. Take a few moments to feel. Yeah. Cross the back of your heart. Melt your heart space. Consciously connecting to the solid floor, earth, ground beneath you. Bring your knees into your chest, hug them in. Okay, I'm just gonna rock them in and out and I'm really gonna let them move. So the knees are gonna move and then come back in. I feel like maybe this is almost your cat cow. Whatever you're doing here, could be small, could be big, it's all fine. Yes, and then we'll bring the knees in, hug them in, maybe you know, find that tight place if that's there for you. Tuck your chin a little bit, soften the back of your heart, your belly, your face, your breath. Feel your breath. A nice healing pose, might not be comfortable. I'll say too that we're not in the same room together, but we've all been in the room where wind has been released. This is wind releasing pose. <laughs> so it's always good, you know, I mean, parts are funny. <laughs> so we might feel like laughing, but I, every time I'm like, yeah, awesome. So coughing, get that stuff out. Okay, open your arms out to the side. On an exhale, drop your knees to the left. I'm just gonna come into basic twist here. Take a few moments to just settle in, feel where your knees need to go. Higher, lower, how's your back? How can you use this to soothe, nourish? Maybe your head turns to the right. So I'm going to take that right arm, it's going to come up and over your head now. So as you inhale, just sweep it along. Maybe the fingers can stay grazing on the floor and maybe they can't. That's okay too. You just notice for yourself what you need to do to make this comfortable and maybe even fun. Okay, next time I bring this right hand to the left, I'm going to reach it away. And then extend this arm up and over in this little bit of an elongated place. Press it away and then open. Good. 
Uh, I just think I'm going to do two more. Maybe you're going very slow. Whenever you're ready, friend, and just come back to rest. The shoulder probably feels a little bit more open or grounded. Once you're here, now the left hand, I'm going to bend at the elbow and anchor this left upper arm, lift the left side of the chest, spin more to the right. And then this left hand can rest on top of the right leg if you like, or you can go back up. And we'll just breathe and soften as much as you can through the right side. With your breath, with your smile, with your soft eyes, your gaze inside. And we feel your tight places. I feel them. Just use the breath. Okay, we're going to change this twist. So we keep the right leg where it is, sneak the left leg out alongside the mat, adjust your body, adjust your left leg to the place that you need it to be. So you can be in this a little bit more open twist, more grounding for the, in the waist down here. Okay, maybe we're gonna move. Remember we did some moving here, so you can take the left hand off the leg if you like, and just rock your hips, your low back, find some space. And then you'll settle back in, okay? As you settle in here, maybe the right leg goes straight. Maybe it needs to bend more. Maybe it pops on top of the left. Like you feel for your own body. <clears throat> and then if you can stretch through your heels, do that, okay? Soften, things get more interesting, more places to illuminate. Through your breath. And start to move this right leg. And so it might swing down past the left, the foot comes to rest, and I open the knee. And it might just do a little bit of that. But if you want to take it up and over, that's fine too. You know, you just feel it. Oh, how can I move here that would feel good? Just moving this right leg around in a way that you don't do it in your everyday normal life. But it's very therapeutic for our back, our hips. So whatever you're doing, do good work. Okay. And I'm going to come back into this Alexander twist of whatever shape you're doing. And your leg bent, leg straight. I'm going to press out through the feet. I'm going to press this right hip away. And then melt from the waist up through your breath. Beautiful. Take a nice big breath in. And as you breathe out, bring yourself back onto your back. Maybe the knees stay bent here. If you want to stretch your legs out, that's fine too. Okay, just breathe. Okay, so if your legs are bent, I'm just gonna separate the feet, bring the knees together. Okay, take your hands together at your heart, interlace your fingers, press the palms up to the sky. And then keep the arms straight, but as you press up with the shoulders, extend up and then bring them down. You just floss the shoulders a few times. Okay. okay, move your arms maybe a little bit over your and maybe over your eyes, floss a few times. And then we'll take these arms all the way over the head. If that's okay for you, if it's not good, you just separate your hands. We're gonna press the palms away. We really press the knees together, press the soles of the feet down, start to lift the hips up even a little bit, even a little bit. Soften your glutes. Press the knees, the thighs, the feet, soften the glutes. Press the arms away, maybe lift your toes. And as you exhale, slowly lower your hips back down. Release your arms back out to Shavasana. Separate the knees, heel toe the feet. We're gonna come into a Bhattakonasana. So if that's not happy for you, you know, really press the feet. We're not gonna be here for long, so I'm not throwing props in. Press the feet together. 
And we're going to rock the hips. So maybe one knee comes down and the other one, and maybe not. If you're very open, you know, whatever, you're going to find your little dance here. Just rock the hips, move the knees. Smile. Okay, and then drop in just two breaths. Two breaths. Okay, last one. This might be more than two for me. That's okay. Good. Okay. Bring your knees back in. This time we're going to open the knees out to have a baby place so that they're aiming to the underarms. Walk your hands down, maybe mid shin, and rock these knees in and out. And okay, keep the right knee in, place the left foot on the floor, and it can be wide. I'm just going to put my left hand on the left thigh just for fun. Right arm is coming to the inside of the right leg. We're going to find happy baby here. So the left leg is bent, it's walked out to the side a little bit. Find your hip place, and now we're going to rock it. So I let this right knee come down to the floor, the left hip lifts. Maybe the right leg goes straight and the left knee comes down. You're going to play. So you're just moving side to side here. Okay, your left arm can open out to the side if you like. Just find some movement. Hips and shoulders. Nice soft face. Move with your breath. In some way, some way, you find this little dance with your breath. Good. Okay, let's do one more of this waving. And then just come into your happy baby. You might keep the left knee dropping up to the left and just walk the left foot in a little bit. If that's, you know, so it's kind of a Baddha half happy baby. But if that's no good, you want to stretch the left leg out. Or if you'll find a different place, it's fine. Push the right foot and the, into the hand and the hand gently pulls back. So you pull the shoulder in. You know, we've been doing all this like shoulder extension. Now you bring it in. Smile and breathe. This is yours. If you want to go deeper, you take that right arm to the inside of the knee and then hold the foot and use the elbow to press down. I'm just doing it. If that's not in your wheelhouse, you just go, huh, that's cute. Okay, release. We're going to cross right knee over the left knee, arms open to the side. Breathe here. Take one more breath. You've been doing so good. <laughs> okay, bring the other knees into your chest. Hands interlace on top of the right knee, on top of the left knee, or behind the left thigh, and rock this in and out. Add some integrity to your feet. Yeah, just rock this in and out. Good. Nice. Take one more. Rocking. Now I'm going to pull this in, wherever in is, and then resist. So I have my hands behind the left thigh. Pulling it in, I'm going to resist with the left thigh. You're on the knee, do the same. All going to happen. Just press in and resist. One more breath. Nice big breath. Okay. Release your hands, left foot to the floor. Press the left foot down, lift your hips. Hips are going to the right. And then they come down. Now both knees drop to the left. And you do have a block. If it's no good with the knees here, all this crunchy, just, you know, separate them. The right shoulder might lift here. Gonna turn the head, breathe. Okay, one more breath. Okay, come back onto your back. Separate the knees. I'm going to separate the feet and let's do a little windshield wiper. Ah, ah, What's happening? Are you okay? Ah, ah, <laughs> Just rock your knees side to side three times. Thank you. Okay. And then we'll bring the feet together. Take a little Baddha Konasana. Maybe this time you take the arms over the head and you get this nice big stretch. Open your hands. Okay, I'm going to add a slight bit of wrist here. No, I know I said two breaths. Arms are extended. You're just going to keep the arms extended, just flex the wrist so the fingers are pointing, imagine, up to the ceiling. You might not get anywhere there. Now hug your shoulders down. Take the belly in. Press the feet together. 
And then circle your wrists as you bring the knees up. Circle the wrists, circle the wrists, circle the wrists. Okay, bring the left knee in. Left knee in. Okay, right hand can rest on the right thigh if you like. You can take the right leg, right foot out for a little walk. And then find happy baby on the left side. Okay, and then we'll start to just do this little rocking. So again, you're going to make it your own. So the left leg, you know, it can straighten as you move over. It might happen, might not. The right knee might be dropping down and in, and it might be a very small movement for you. So whatever you're doing, and just go, wow, she's good. Feeling like my back, opening my hips. Also massaging your back of your heart space here. Let's do all that good stuff. Okay, so let's do one more. Just whatever way you like, and then we're going to bring it into happy baby, half happy baby, and it might be a half body kanasana. So that right foot might walk into center a little bit. It's going to flex. Okay, I'm going to breathe, anchoring through the feet. Okay, and I'm going to bring this left arm to the inside of the leg just to go deeper. It's not a uh, have to. Nothing to have to, of course. Good. Okay, and then we'll release, bring the right knee up, cross knee over knee, and just pause here for a few moments. Let everything kind of shavasana settle. Nothing to do. But breathe and be. One more full breath. In and maybe a side out. And we'll bring this leg package in. And you just find wherever your hands want to go. Change the interlace of your fingers, friend. You know, automatically I lift my head, tuck my chin in. And then I'll start to rock this package in and out a few times. Flex your feet. And I'm going to find that place where I can really hug in and I'm resisting at the same time. Let the jaw go, drop your jaw, smile. Breathe and be. Okay. Release the hands, lower the right foot to the floor, arms out to the side. Lift your hips, shift the hips to the left and drop this knee package to the right. And then do what you need to do to separate. If you have to do that, it's all fine. You know, you're attaining the shape that works for you and letting the breath, you know, move up. So use your breath. Soften any place you can, any place you start to feel, you know, okay, I see you. I love you. Appreciate you. Okay. okay, one more full breath in. And then as you breathe out, just make your way back onto your back, legs straight or bent. You can be here. Okay, we'll take a little windshield wiper. Just walk the feet apart and just, just to shake out. Okay, let's bring ourselves back and I'm just going to take a few breaths. I'm going to take you up. We're going to come up to standing before we do that. Just really receive the floor. Be here. Oh, so nice. Lie on the back. So nice. And we'll bring the knees in. Okay, so Yogi's choice here. You're welcome. Just roll to the side and come up or we do a little rock and roll. Maybe the legs are straight, you can balance it, whatever you're doing, you know, it's all good. Take your time. Ah, oh, so nice. We'll do it twice more. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah. Ooh. Okay, once you're done, you take, if you want to go 10 more times, I applaud that. <laughs> take your time. Let's just let the, you know, we've been down. So it's our halfway point. Oh. Well, I feel child's poses next, even though it's not what I thought in my head, but okay. 
Okay. Well, I feel like the yoga angels whisper in my jaw. <laughs> child pose. So take your child pose. Drop in. I'm going to extend the arms and just claw the floor mm -hmm. longer and just wiggle myself in between my thighs a little bit. And if you need to support your forehead, you do that. Otherwise, you tuck your chin, rest your forehead on the floor, drop your jaw. Oh, let's take a few more breaths. Okay, if anything's talking to you, oh, I see you. So last inhale, sigh it out, exhale. Let's come up to hands and knees. If you need to be on your forearms, instead do that. Oh, I'm totally not paying attention. You put um, something under your knees if you like. I'm going to tuck the toes under. And let's just move through cat cow uh, at your own pace. Move with your breath. Imagine. You know, we started by focusing on the heart space. So as you press that heart space up, feel your shoulder blades moving around. Um, so they're creating space and they're protecting. Good. A few more. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. Bring yourself to center here. I'm going to bring the knees together, spread the fingers, and now you know this thing we're doing with the shoulders. We call it shoulder flossing, right? Just floss your shoulders a little bit. Yes, and then find that midpoint so the heart's not dropping, it's not pressing up. You're just like in the middle there. And I'm just going to really spread the fingers of the left hand, anchor it, start to stretch the right leg out. And you know, if you have a wall there, hey, I'll lucky for you. But just press it down. See if you can take the toes down. You can take a little peek where the toes doing. Okay, now I'm going to shift the weight onto the right hand and take the left arm out. And just extend. You can take your gaze up, drop your jaw, take the belly in, push the right hand down. Good. Okay, let's go elbow to knee just for a moment. Elbow to knee, and then extend it back out. Okay, take it down and knee, keep the toes tucked under, shift your hips back. And even look up. It press from your hands, from your shoulders, lift your heart. Okay, now I'm going to drop the head, curl up through your cat pose, come back to hands and knees. Okay, knees are still together. You can extend the left leg, so do what you need to do. Maybe take a little peek at your toes, point them down, press out through the heel, and then we're going to take the right arm and extend it out. Push the left hand down, breathe. Yes. Let's go elbow to knee, pause. Good, and then we extend. And then we take everything down, tops of the feet to the floor, shift your hips back. I still have my knees together. You can walk your hands in, maybe go onto your forearms here if that's better. Palms are together. Drop your head. One more breath. Okay. And come back to hands and knees just for a moment. We'll tuck the toes under and walk your hands back, lift your knees up. Oh, and I was going to say stand up, and I'm like, no, let's do some of this. <laughs> Pull my front to back and get a nice stretch for the back of the calves, the Achilles. I think, like, I know this, I, I don't know why, but anyway, okay, yeah, yeah, let me start again. Drop your heels back, like, find that place where they're not touching the floor. Maybe your arms can extend more, and this might not be happy for, for everybody, but. Just get such a big stretch through the Achilles here and take one more breath. Okay, now we're moving to forward fold. So take your time, use your block if you need it, lift your hips up in the air. We're just going to lift and lower the hips. So you'll inhale, and as you exhale, bend your knees, 
Maybe you go all the way down so that you know you're you're right on the heels, and then we'll go back up. And I'm just gonna do this a few times, so you don't have to go super fast unless you're very fiery and you just want to rock it out. That's fine. Let's just do that a few times. Yes. Okay. We we'll do one more. If you've had enough, you just hang out in your forward fold. Okay. Find your balance into your heels, your feet hang. And if you can grab opposite elbows here, then we can let the shoulders move towards the ears like you go on the floor. You know, feel into the feet, lifting the arches. If you're not sure how to do that, just lift your toes. And you anchor all balls of your feet to the floor. Soften your breath, even if this is like, ah, oh, so much stretching in the backs of the legs. Can you be here and receive it? Good. Okay, I'm going to come all the way up. I'm coming through chair pose. So I'm starting to bend the knees, drop the hips, take the arms. Maybe they go out. Maybe they have to be on your thighs. Lift your head, lift your arms, anchor your feet, take the belly in. Breathe like you love it. And then stand up. Take your hands at your heart. Pause here. Okay, he's gonna sneak in four trees as we walk to the front of your mat. So if you're not at the back of your mat, bring yourself to the back. We're gonna go to the front and start with tree pose, balancing on the left leg. Find your tree. Okay, you might be very wobbly. We're just gonna take three breaths. So once you get there on your own, you know, extend the arms, the legs, everything we've been doing. And after your third breath, you're just gonna step that right foot forward. And then you'll come into tree. Yeah, beautiful. Yes, and you just take your time. You know, be playfully curious. Embody your body. Be the tree. And then, yeah, so yeah, I'm moving on to my left leg again. But you take your time. No rush. You feel something awesome happening. Take your time. Because once you get to the front of the mat, we're just at the front of the mat. So, good. Beautiful. And then we'll release. Once you get to the front, you're just going to stand in mountain pose. So you take your time. In mountain pose, a lot happening. Find the weight in your feet, your thighs, push back, heart up, we all drop. Good. Okay, I'm assuming we're all here now. Take one more breath. Yes. Okay, on your inhale, sweep your arms, maybe even back and up. And then as you exhale, we're gonna open the arms, start to fold, go really slow. You can even close your eyes. You might bend your knees, you might go straight legs. Once you get down, pause here for a full breath in and out. And on your inhale, you know, lift the head and chest and look forward. Stay in this half forward fold. If your knees are bent, it's all fine. You push the thighs back, belly in. Lift your heart, maybe you're on the tips of your fingers. Feel your feet. And then exhale and fold. Good. Okay, hands either side of the feet. We're just gonna take a wide-legged forward fold. So I'm gonna step my left foot back just so I'm facing you as I come to wide-legged. You go with whatever works for you. And then heel toe your feet. And we'll just do a little bit of the side to side, you know, um, speed skating. You know, I never was a speed skater, but I feel like they probably do this a lot. Good. Yeah, keep your tush back. Okay, I'm going to change this by keeping the legs straight and just moving the hips. So you might not even see anything, but it's like you're a happy puppy wagging your tail. So the legs stay straight. I still have myself lifted a little bit here through the head and the chest. Good. And then come to your center and exhale and fold. And wherever you go here, you put your hands, you know, wherever they need to be. If you want to grab hold of the backs of your ankles, you can do that. And pull yourself towards your legs. Okay. Anchor from the inner and outer thighs all the way down to your feet. 
Release, release, release from the waist up. One more breath. Good. Okay. And then we're going to come all the way up. I'm just going to come back to the front of the mat, step the feet together. Take a full inhale and then exhale. And start to come down to sitting. Maybe no hands, maybe hands. <laughs> I'm going to sit here for a moment, but if you were already down, it's all fine. You sit cross legged. Let's breathe. One more breath. Okay, and then we'll all just come to sit and we're just going to go cross legged. Yeah, it's all good. When I see the blocks, I'm like, that's just what it's about. All good. Come to sit cross legged. However, you do, whichever cross, we're just going to take a forward fold. You can sit on your blanket and then exhale into your fold. Okay. So we, we you know, um, that swing side to side, if you want to bring that into this, go for it. If you want to just mount, that's fine too. Just let it go wherever you are, soften. Everything you've been practicing in this class, the eyes, the forehead. So it's really about the breath. And you really feel, oh, where's my breath going? How many dips here? Are they happy, unhappy? And then maybe you just need to move your, or to be aware of which the unhappy side. If you shift your head a little bit away from the unhappy side towards the happy side, that might be what we need. Okay. Take a nice big breath in. Now, now you might keep your eyes closed. You're going to press yourself up and change the cross of your legs. So however you need to do that, and then bring yourself into this forward fold again, however you like, swaying, dropping in, receiving, and healing yourself. And so if you feel any discomfort here, you, you do your best to not um, change the shape of the pose so much, but to work with it. Meaning maybe just the ribs push over, just the head turns a little bit away. That's about it. You melt your heart, back of your heart, dropping to the front of your heart. Take a nice big breath in, <clears throat> side out. Make your way back up to sitting and just be here for a moment. You can stretch your legs and change the cross, whatever you like to do. And then from here, friends, we're going to come back onto the back. We're going to um, put the hips, the sacrum on a block before we move into Shavasana. But so set yourself up so you're ready for Shavasana. I'm going to put a blanket, I'm going to put in a bolster, put on my sweater, and then just come back to. Um, lying down for a moment with the knees bent, settling on your back once you get there. And then once you're on your back, you're just going to take your block, put it under your sacrum, any height you like, you know, any height. It could be, you know, I, I love the highest height, but I also love the lowest height. There's something that happens everywhere. So just let yourself. Rest in. We did a lot of back releasing poses. So, this is just the opportunity for the back to rest almost in the opposite shape of what it's been. Okay. Okay. If you want to play with your legs here, you go ahead. Meaning, you know, if you like to take your legs up in the air or stretch one leg out and the other one up, that's all fun. Or just rest. Yes. Okay. And then any place here, friends, you can come off the block if you like. You can stay. You can feel, oh, what do I need? Maybe I need a full happy baby. Maybe. I just need to hug my knees in, or maybe I just need to float into Shavasana. 
be your teacher here, feel you need. Mm -hmm. Tuning into the back of your heart. Let it receive the support of the floor, of the earth, of the ground, gravity. Imagine that from the back of your heart, that energy is just flowing the crown of your head, out through your arms, to your palms, your fingers, on the back of the heart, down to the base of the earth, to the pelvic floor, out through your legs, In the soles of your feet. Soften your eyes, your jaw. Shavasana. Giving yourself permission to be even heavier. Imagine you are melting into the support of the floor, of the earth, the ground beneath you. And feeling your breath expand the heart energies. And nourishing and nurturing medicine throughout your being. If you would like to stay here for as long as you like, then it's a great gift. Get ready to come out, just start by rolling your ankles, your toes, eventually the fingers, the wrists. And fitting the arms over your head, making that nice big stretch, 
before you bend your knees. And you might just rest with the knees bent for a few moments. That might just be perfect. Or you could hug the knees into your chest. And we're just going to take our time coming out. So once you get to this place, you're here for a few moments. Nourishing and nurturing. And you do the same once you get to your side. So you're going to stay there. Let it be a pose. This is the repose between Shavasana and waking up. So you soften, release into this if you want to stay in the rest. And you're going to know when it's time. Your body feels very heavy, and that's the perfect time to walk yourself up right. And just come to sit in your own quiet for a few moments and keep your eyes closed, yourself wrapped up, or do a blanket on your lap if you use that. Rest your hands in a way. We'll just lightly touch the thumb pad and the index finger pad. Bow your chin. Feel your breath, feel your body. As you inhale, stay here, grow tall. As you exhale, bring these hands together in front of your heart. Bow your chin. <laughs> Honor yourself with great devotion for your practice and for all that you are and all that you bring. Come into that, friends. So inhale and grow tall. Lift your chin. Then exhale. Uh, see all this practice with our May We Be Blessed mantra. And one on. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and may we be happy. Inhale. Now your chin. Take a full breath in. Breathe into your hands. Get your sacred breath. Lift your chin and open your eyes. You offer this to yourself first. Put your own oxygen mask on first, and then we offer it to each other. And then you get to take it back. Yay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Wow. I feel pretty good. <laughs> what I thought we were going to be doing, but that worked out just fine. So thank you so much, you guys, for being here. Mwah. Happy Sunday. I see it. I see it. Thank you. So much love, you guys. Yes, thank you. Beautiful. So I'll see you guys on Tuesday, hopefully. Take care, everybody. Have a great rest of this day. Love you. Yes.